Welcome everyone, the first step to transfer data from old Android to your new Google Pixel is on the Google Pixel itself, you want to make sure that you see this screen, welcome to your Pixel. If you don't see this screen, but instead you have the home screen here, like me, then we will need to factory reset our Google Pixel. And to factory reset, the first step is I want you to open up the settings. And in the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see here, system. You are then going to scroll to the bottom until you see a reset options. And then you're going to select erase all data. And then erase all data again, enter in your login, erase, and now the factory reset should begin on your Google Pixel, and let's wait for it to finish. Once we see welcome to your Pixel, let's tap on get started. Now on your old Android, unlock it and make sure it's on the home screen. You should now see this screen, setup, and then your pixel name. If you don't see this, then you will need to turn off your old Android, turn it back on, and then go back, and then get started again, and you should see this screen. So we're going to tap on setup, and now old Android should connect to your new pixel. We now need to scan the QR code on our old phone, there we go. And what it's gonna do now is it's going to transfer your Wi-Fi login information and your accounts from the old Android to the new one. The data transfer you know, with all your apps and stuff will happen later. If needed, you will need to re-enter your password for your Google accounts. It is now asking us to Download an eSIM or insert a SIM card. So if you have a physical SIM, all models of uh, Pixel do have a SIM card slot, so you can insert that. Or if you tap on download eSIM, you'll be able to set up an eSIM. And I do have dedicated tutorials on both of those if you need help. I'm first going to tap on skip and skip. If you wanted to you know, set up eSIM, or insert the SIM card. If you search up how to activate eSIM uh, and you'll find my channel or how to insert SIM and you'll find my channel as well. It's now asking us to set a PIN so I'm going to do that. I recommend you set a PIN as well. It is now asking us to set a fingerprint lock so I'm going to scroll to the bottom and once you've scrolled to the bottom we're going to tap on I agree and then start and we're going to follow the on-screen instructions. So I need to hold and release my finger on the fingerprint sensor and it wants me to move my finger slightly in between each scan. And there we go, we're done. And fingerprint added. If you want to add multiple, tap add another. Otherwise, just tap on next. We now see here, set up face unlock. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm personally going to select no thanks. But if you want face unlock, tap I agree and follow the instructions. We now see copy data from your old Android. Let's tap on next. And then we need to patiently wait as the new Google Pixel checks what files can be transferred from your old Android. You now see here, choose what data to copy. So you can tap the tick to select or unselect certain things. I'm going to tap on copy once I'm happy. And now it's going to go through your Google account. Do you want to have device backup? Yeah, it's on by default, 
I personally turn this off, but this is up to you, whether you have this on or off. Then you have location. Do you want to use your location? I'd recommend you have this on because the apps have to ask for the permission before they can use it. Scanning though allows Google to access your location even when you're offline. So I personally turn that one off. Usage and data. I'm going to turn that one off. That is just saying, do you want to send data to Google? Uh, once you've scrolled to the bottom, let's tap on accept. Warranty, this is just showing warranty information. Let's tap on next. And continue setup. This is asking you if you want to set up Google Pay, Google Assistant. Me personally, I'm going to select leave. But if you want those features, tap continue. It can always be set up later in the settings. Additional apps Google wants you to get, I'd recommend you tap on OK. Well, if you tap the ticks, you can unselect what apps you don't want. And if we wait a few moments here, we can see copying's done. So that was fast. Sometimes you'll, you know, get past all the setup and it will say transferring data and you will just have to patiently wait for everything to copy over from your old Android. Just leave both phones close to each other. But in this case, it says done. So once everything is done, we'll tap on the done option. And uh, now it's going to get the phone ready. So we'll just wait a couple of seconds here. If you tap on try it for this swipe to navigate, then it will teach you how to use swipe gestures. I'm personally going to tap on skip. And so if you swipe up, you have selected swipe gestures to be used. But many of you may be watching this video, your old Android has buttons like mine. And so if you want the buttons on the Google, we're going to tap on swipe navigation settings. And then we'll tap on free button navigation like this. If you go to the settings, then you can turn on or off, hold home for assistant. So let's go home. And now we are ready. So the photos, data will have been transferred. You can see here, these are some videos which were recorded on the Samsung. Before you factory reset your old phone, please make sure that you check every app on your new Google Pixel and just verify that all of the accounts have been signed in, that there's, there's nothing you know, missing from your new phone, because if something's missing and you factory reset your old phone, it is possible that it will be harder to get that information back. Uh, with that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.